All right, Shalom to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, or Chakurash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Ba'ashim means in the name. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the Lord ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akim, not to push in this truth. All right, so Brother Barakim, friend of Jimmy's branch out of the mornings, I will come back at you with another video through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> And uh, the title of this lesson is uh, Ask and You Shall Receive. All right, and this is uh, pretty much inspired by, uh, uh, we just had a, a, um, our, our last class on on Friday. You know, we was going into a couple of things. And one of the topics that stood out was uh, going into, you know, asking the Lord for, for, for things, you know, that's needed for our growth, you know, for our health in the spirit, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, the spirit was on me to, <clears throat> to do this lesson so lord's willing this video is edifying and uh i'm gonna just uh hop right into it this is the book of uh luke uh chapter 11 in um verse 9 it says this is how i was speaking it says and i say unto you ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that ask that asketh receiveth and, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. All right. And hey, so all we have to do is just ask, you know, Yahweh Shemi Al Shah for certain things, and, and he will give them to us, man. You know, anything that you need in the spirit, and hey, the Lord will uh, uh will, pro will provide you with, with whatever, you know. And the Lord's so cold with it because he'll put you in a certain situation uh to where you need it to apply what you're uh what you're asking for, man, you know. And so whatever you whatever whatever it is that you that you're seeking for, or whatever it is that you're that you're knocking, you know, knocking for, hey, the Lord is going to give it to you, man. You know, it might it might seem like it, you know, it's taking a while, hey, but what the scripture says it says that the Lord will give every needful thing in due season, okay? You know, so the Lord knows, uh, the Lord is perfect on timing. You know, all you got to do is just trust. You know, just wait, just wait, and then just trust in the Lord, man. You know. Let's grab this in the book of Matthew, chapter 21, in uh, verse 21. It says, Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. So like it. See, it's on do not disturb, but stuff still popping down it's like it but it says uh verse 21 again it says yahweh shot answered and said unto them verily i say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree but also if ye shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea it shall be done and then it says in all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive all right and that's the key thing all right. Believing on whatever you whatever it is that you're praying for, man, you know, truly, truly trusting in you. How about Shemi Al Shai that he's going to execute whatever it is that you're uh, 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 that you're making supplications for, man. You know, that's one of the key things, man. Having that faith. All right. Because in what in the book of James, you know, matter of fact, let's grab it in the book of James. It speaks about that, man. You know, uh, not wavering. This is the book of James, chapter one. And um. Uh, Verse five, it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh Bashim al Shah that give it to all men liberally. All right, which goes back to that Luke. All right, if you knock, it shall be open. You know, asking you shall receive. So it, it says that uh, that give it to all men liberally. OK. It says, and abrade it not, and there shall be given him. It says, but let him. Here's the key point. Verse six, it says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. All right. Because when you have those certain uh, which, you know, nothing wavering, which means doubting, you know, because when you have those certain doubts, you know, that's 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 considered lack of faith. You know, you have in doubt. That's not you trusting in you. How about Shemiah Shah? You know, and sometimes hey, the, the flesh will play on that, man. All right. But you got to rebuke the flesh or right? you got to stick to to uh, uh, to what you know, man, these scriptures, you know. It says, uh, if it says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea driven, uh, uh, with the wind and tossed. It says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of, uh, of the Lord. 
You know, it says uh, verse eight, it says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's right. You know, a, a double minded man, you you having doubt. Are you worrying? You know what I'm saying? You worried your mind going 100 miles per hour. Hey, you no, know, just slow down, you know, slow down and just pray to you. How about Shemel Shah? Just talk to him, man. You know, let him know what's going on. He already knows what's going on. You know, hey, a, a precept talks about uh, how he um, answers answers uh, prayers before they even uh, spoken, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, I'll, I'll probably try to search it up later on in the lesson. But, you know, hey, the, the, the Lord already knows what, what, uh, the things that we need. All right. All he wants us to do is just cry, cry out unto him. All right. And exalt him, you know, give him praises, you know, give him no rest, as it says in um. I believe that's in uh, Isaiah. I'll grab that. This is Isaiah chapter 62. And uh, verse six, it says, I have set watchmen upon the walls of old Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye shall make mention of the Lord. Keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish." Uh, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's right. Hey, so so we so we can keep so we got to keep praising. You know, speaking to uh, uh, me first and foremost. You know, speaking to myself. Hey, we got to keep praising Yahweh Shimei Shah. Hey, we got to keep calling upon Yahweh Shimei Shah for 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 for, uh, uh, for things that we need. You know, in the spirit. You know, of course, and of course, you know, if if you need other things as well, like I said, hey, the, the Lord said that He will give every needful thing in due season, man. You know, so we're we're on the uh, on the Lord's time, man. You know, and he he's gonna he's gonna work things out, man. You know, he he always does, man. You know, we just gotta trust in your Shah and not think upon the stuff that we're dealing with in this world, man. You know, because sometimes that stuff will kind of get to you and it'll, you know, it it uh it uh it'll poke you a little bit, you know. Hey, but man, fuck that shit, man. All right, fuck those bills. All right, uh, 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 not saying you know, not saying it in that way, but don't have your mind truly like fully focus on that to where you, you're not trusting in when well, you're not trusting in the Lord, man, you know, fuck all that shit that you got going on, man. And just, just, and just have patience, you know, the Lord, he'll sort it out. Just do it. He asks, uh, cause what it says in second edge, it just says that he's a God unto them that keep his commandments and precepts. So as long as we're doing what we need to be doing in the spirit and hey, the Lord is going to take care of us, man, you know, but, um, let's go to, uh, let me grab that, uh, that, First Timothy that I was going to grab earlier. Uh, this is uh, First Timothy chapter two and verse one. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men. And that's what we have to do, man. All right. Make supplications, prayers, you know, so on and so forth before our Lord. You how about shot, man? All right, he's going to give us things that uh, uh that we need, man. All right, in due season. All right. But uh let me I wanted to grab this one um in the book of uh Sirach. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I was going to look for that precept real quick. So like just give me a quick second. <clears throat> Okay, I thought it was another one, but it might be that uh that Matthew. That Matthew, that's a good one. But it says uh this is Matthew six and verse um uh, uh I'll read verse Damn. I'll just get straight to the point. This is verse eight, uh verse eight. It says, be not ye therefore like unto them for your father knoweth what things ye have need, you have need of before ye ask him. OK, so 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 uh, the heavenly father. All right. He already knows what you need, man. All right. Before we even before we even ask through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he already knows, you know, but hey, we have to do our part, you know, in the, in this ministry, you know, in, within the faith, 
you know, so the Lord can, can provide us with certain things, man, you know, but, uh, let's grab that, uh, that Sirach. This is, uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 43, oops, 43 and, um, verse 30. It says, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary for he for ye can never go far enough. That's right. All right. Because the Lord, he's uh, he's far out, man. You know, he's omnipotent, you know. So 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 even if we go as hard as we can or go to the fullest, you know, it says that uh, 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 we can never go far enough, man, you know. But hey, but all glory to Yahweh Shai. He deserves all the glory, man. You know, that's our job. We're supposed to give uh, glory to our king, man, to our savior, you know. But I'll, but also with uh, with prayer and supplications as, as well, man, you know, give him no rest, you know, as a scripture that we just read, man. You know, but, uh, you know, that's all I really have through the spirit, though, you know, as far as my notes that I had written down. You know, so Lord's willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekha I want to give double honor to my elders and my other apostles of Great Millstone. Time of the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you. I can now start the position truth. All right, till next time, Shalom.